Lithuania presentation. <laughs> this will be a very serious presentation. There won't be any jokes and there will be very serious facts about our country. So first, oh, this one. After these facts, I think you won't consider going to Lithuania. <laughs> And firstly, so tell them by ourselves that we are too cool to talk about them, so there is a video. For drinking beer, of course. 
and the most important position is the squat. <laughs> most 80% of the time, you must be like this. <laughs> Thank you. I guess now you know a lot of facts about the toy here, so we prepared you a small quiz. Yes, no, 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are not Russian or can't sleep. We are Lithuanian girls, Russia, okay? Okay, second question. How many times Lithuania won Eurovision Song Contest? It's very important for us, okay? So, three, two, or one, choose. <laughs>
I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 
sometimes we say bichurles and do this. Bichurle! This is the rules. If someone of you is in the toilet making a shit or drinking in the bar and hears Bichurle! Everyone have to do that. That's right. Say Bichurle! Bichurle! Have to do that. Okay. Three, two, one. Victorious! Victorious! Perfect! Perfect! Thank you guys! So guys, you can see Lithuania is not all that bad. We also have very beautiful places in Lithuania. For example, this is our capital city. And this is our Lithuania flag. This picture is not photoshopped. It's, yeah, it's real thing. We have 90 kilometers of seaside, which is very beautiful, but very expensive. Vacation in seaside costs more than vacation in Turkey. So, but Lithuanians still go there. So we have a lot of beautiful cities, very beautiful castles, medieval castles, and some more views from there. So yeah, we really, really love our country. Also, we have our language, and I think about only 3 million people speak in that language, and it's nothing like Russian language. It's not similar. It's one of the oldest languages in, Europe, in whole Europe, and I think in whole world. And it's extremely difficult. We have a lot of different forms, a lot of ways to change our our words. And even some Lithuanians don't know how to write or speak properly, but we still have to learn it. And we have some bad words for you. And yeah, we try to translate them. For example, Sponges, which means uh, go slide through Soviet Union water pipes. Yeah, we use those, and also like, go kick some clouds, if the whistle's part of it. It's like when we are extremely angry on some person. So, this is our beautiful language. And uh, we also have a lot of uh, huge cultural life. And yeah, we don't talk always like in, in I talked before. And I, don't, I know that you don't care about our teachers or our cinema, but we prepared a small video about our festivals that I think is most important for you. And these are, in the Twinna festivals are very cheap. Beer is cheap, of course, more are expensive than but it's cheap. And they, they are pretty small festivals, about from five to 10,000 participation participants. But they are still very great and uh, a lot of choice, from electro to pop to rock and metal rock and etc. So, let's watch.
the ten most most developed, and maybe some of you heard them. And now we're going to talk about sports because we are very proud of our sportsmen and especially of basketball. Uh, today we are third in FIBA ratings. Just NBA and Spain are above us, and these are most important basketball players for us. So this is especially important. It's Arvin Savonis. He played in the NBA for a very long time. This guy played in the NBA too. This guy too. This guy plays in NBA now. He's Valanciunas. Plays in Toronto Raptors. He's from Mississippi. He still trains. He doesn't play, but he's a trainer of our one of the best teams. Uh, Sandaila, Kleza and Matiunas, he plays in the now too. And we won uh, FIBA over basket three times. We, we are like, we and America are the only two countries that participated in all the Olympics with basketball teams that we can because we are just got our independence in the 90s. And this is our fans, one of the best fans in the world. They go everywhere. But with our national team, they go everywhere. This is our strongest man, Jitunas uh, Viskas. Of course, this is not the strongest man, he is the strongest man. He is stronger than Terminator. Just like, yeah. This is our fastest swimmer. I don't talk about her, I just on this slide. It's easier. Thank you, thank you for reading. And this is one of our greatest athletes, it's this drawer. He won like two, two gold Olympic medals, I guess, as we can remember. And this is just small facts about Lithuania. So yeah, very very quickly. Oh, um, we are proud not also with the rock. We are proud for lasers. More than half of uh, lasers that are using uh, all of, in all of the world are made in Lithuania. Then amber. We can uh, we call amber our like national. Um, <coughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> and also our national bird stork. Even I know what's uh, in your country, but our parents uh, tell told tell us that we are from storks. Like storks bring us, but obviously not. And Lithuania is heart of Europe. Yeah, we are the center, the geographical center of Europe, and it's yeah, that's true. It's, dishes so as I mentioned before they are very strange but very delicious so first things first we eat everything from potatoes we do everything with potatoes and all the time in all dishes uh, for example we have something like this it's uh, we don't have like the English word for it uh, the pancakes of uh, the potatoes, the pink called soup, yes we eat the pink called soup uh, with potatoes and something like a cake uh, from potatoes, so everything with potatoes all the time. I don't know why, but when you're going to your grandparents, they all the time give you the food from potatoes and they ask you, eat, 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 you need to eat, you never, you, you don't have anything enough. So fun fact, we eat kebabs with potatoes, yes. <laughs> we have potato sticks and Lithuanians eat more kebabs than McDonald's, yeah, it's like the real fact. And how many kebabs we ate in Brno, in Czech Republic, uh, we don't found the same, uh, the same taste, the same delici uh, delicious kebabs like in our country, so you need to try it someday. And for the end, we prepared you some shows of some photos of the drinks. And of course, we love beer too, but we most make, uh, mostly make some strong drinks. And it's of course vodka. It's 40% drink, we drink that a lot. If you will go to Lithuania, you must know how to drink vodka. Yes. You will drink it. <laughs> of course, this is like Lithuanian meat. Very traditional, very old drink, and it's very, very strong. It's 75, I guess, or yeah, 75 percent strong drink. It's, I don't know, just spirit is stronger than it. And if you ever taste it, 
very hard to drink it, but pretty strong. And of course, they are one of the cheapest drinks, but it tastes like Jägermeister, uh, and it's cheap, strong, and delicious. So, we drink that all the time. And after a lot of drinking, you will have a huge hangover, of course, most of the times. And we have a drink for hangovers. How to save yourself from hangover and how to make you feel better. And let's watch this video. There are two ways of living. Giving a fuck, not giving a fuck. Drink me to us, give a negative fuck. Giving a negative fuck can't destroy the universe as we know it. I don't care what you have to taste like. Take a crazy teenager, eat the urban builder, and three random animals. Then put them all into a hot jacuzzi of hot sweat for two hours. After seven days of fermentation, that substance who tastes better than Vigola. So it's not for pussies, you see. It's for men who can handle their own awesomeness of minerals. <laughs> Thank you. 